What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new transfer news video and we have the biggest transfer of 2016 so far, it's done and dusted, Gonzalo Higuain went to Juventus from Napoli for 90 million euros, that's 75 million pounds for a 29 year old striker, that's an absolute insane amount of money and it shows how rich Juventus are and Napoli didn't want to sell Juventus you know went really really hard and you cannot just cannot turn down that amount of money for a 29 year old striker uh, he, he's 28 but he's, he's turning uh, 29 Juventus have agreed to pay his full release clause it's a record transfer fee in the Serie A and it's actually um, only Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale are the only players who cost more than Gonzalo Higuain. Is this a sensible transfer from Juventus? I will be honest, uh, in the past few seasons you could see Juventus doing really clever, smart transfer deals and you didn't see this coming from them, to be honest, because uh, they weren't famous for going absolutely mental in the transfer market in terms of uh, transfer fees and um, and yes it weakens their direct title rival but did Juventus really desperately need a striker like that and um, I'm not so sure because uh, they have Paulo Dybala who scored more than 20 goals as a 22 year old and uh, I've, I think a more sensible option would have been to try and keep Alvaro Morata which would cost would have cost 35 maybe 40 million pounds and you could you could get a, a really a, a lot cheaper striker uh, than Higuain yes Morata is not as prolific as Higuain yet but he could have turned out to be and they could strengthen the other team other other parts of the team but maybe this is the final piece of the jigsaw so because Juventus already completed four transfers Pjanic, Dani Alves, Benatia and Marco Piazza and those four players are very very good players and maybe this is just their final piece of business I, I think Juventus are building to try and challenge for the Champions League trophy because they already have the strongest team in the Serie A and they went to the Champions League final two seasons ago where they lost to Barcelona maybe they think that with Higuain they will have a bigger chance of challenging for a Champions League title because Higuain scored 36 goals and he has Champions League experience so yeah let me know what do you think about this transfer because I think it's absolutely mental uh, and but no surprise really because the transfer fees have been going up and up and up and up every season Arsenal have bid 35 million pounds for Alexander Lacazette uh, or 35 million euros there rather I say uh, which is 29 million pounds uh, I can't see I can't understand why Arsene Wenger keeps doing this honestly because they desperately need a striker like Lacazette and uh, West Ham had a 37 million pound 37 million euro bid rejected which is like 30 million pounds so if West Ham's bid which was higher than Arsenal's bid uh, got denied got rejected by Leon why would you go in with a low offer like that when you are one of the richest clubs in the world and why wait until almost the beginning of August that the season starts in like less than two weeks why wait if you want to sign Lacazette go in early and try and and uh, you know bid uh, a lot of money basically Leon said that they are not uh, willing to let Lacazette go unless a really big offer like 40 40 million plus comes in for Alexander Lacazette and they actually denied that they have received a 40 million offer from Arsenal this morning and basically they they want to keep Lacazette but they they say that if a really really big offer comes in then they are willing to sell so I think Arsenal really just should just pay up because Lacazette could turn them into you know Premier League champions from finishing third or fourth every season so Arsene Wenger stop messing about because the Arsenal fans are getting restless and rightfully so uh, the Arsenal have been a joke in the transfer window so far to be honest
Man City are in talks to sign Lero Sane, Gabriel Jesus and Marlos Moreno. Lero Sane said just recently that he wants to leave Schalke and also Guardiola, Pep Guardiola admitted that they are in negotiations with Leroy Sané but their valuation of the player and what Sharka wants for Sané is at the moment big, there is a big gap between the two Sharka want close to 40 million Man City I think say that they, they could say that he is not worth that much because he had one breakthrough season in the Bundesliga but he's only a talented 20 year old player and for 40 million pounds I'm actually not too disappointed that Liverpool didn't go in for Sane because he's definitely not worth that much. Atletico Nacional would like 8 million, 8 million for Moreno and also uh, Gabriel Jesus would cost about 20 million or maybe more. Uh, I don't really know a lot about those two players. One plays for Palmeiras and uh, the other plays for Colombia's Atletico Nacional. I don't really watch those leagues. So yeah, if you know anything about those two players, let me know in the comments below. Chelsea and Everton, it looks like we'll battle out for 30 million pound midfielder William Carvalho. And uh, I don't think Chelsea really need him. He, they just signed Kante, they have Nemanja Matic. Conte just recently said that they don't want to sell Matic. Um, Everton though, Everton on the other hand, they desperately need a really really awesome defensive midfielder, they conceded too many goals last season, so I think uh, Chelsea are in for a, are, are looking for a centre-back, Kalido Koulibaly would cost a lot of money because Napoli don't really want to sell to English clubs, uh, especially not one of their most talented uh, players, and also the Daily Mirror are reporting that uh, Paul Pogba's agent, Mino Raiola, cancelled Manchester United Medical for Paul Pogba because uh, of the agent fees, there is uh, like a 20% agent fee in the Paul Pogba deal and uh, there is no clarity who gets that money and I guess Mino Raiola just wants that money for himself. So yeah, let me know what do you think about this and also uh, related to this, Real Madrid Zinedine Zidane doesn't really want to talk about Paul Pogba, he says he's not yet a Madrid player, we cannot talk about what will happen and I'm sure that uh, Zinedine Zidane wants to sign Paul Pogba, he says everyone is interested in Pogba, he's a great player and when you are with Madrid you always want the best, now you have to respect some things, he's a Juventus player today, I cannot say anything. But behind the scenes, I'm sure that Real Madrid are trying to sign Paul Pogba as well. If I were Pogba, I would definitely go to Real Madrid instead of Manchester United because instantly Real Madrid, will, you know that they will challenge for trophies, for the La Liga title, for the Champions League title. At Man United, it's more of a rebuilding job and you cannot, cannot be sure that they will be challenging for major trophies in the next two or three years. So it, it will be very interesting to see how it goes. The Daily Star reporting that Liverpool have failed with a 33 and a half million pound bid for João Mario, the Portugal midfielder's father revealed. I'm not sure if that is worth that much. He, he won the Euros with uh, Portugal but he, and, and he was a decent player, but is he worth 33 million pounds? I don't think so. And the Sky Sports are reporting that Everton are interested in Idris Agey, uh, who is an Aston Villa player. And it looks like that they meet, they met the, his release clause, which is uh, 7.1 million. And the uh, Aston Villa manager Roberto Di Matteo already bought a similar player, Chibola. And yes, he was Idris Agey, was a decent midfielder but he's nowhere near the end product, the finished product, so Everton are signing a talented young player. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this this uh, transfer news update video, more career mode and other videos coming later today, so stay tuned, thanks for watching guys, stay awesome, see you later, goodbye!